If you're looking to buy small to team coins, go check out the FIFA shop.co.uk. All the links are down below in that description box. And use discount code of GC5 to get your 10% discount on all of your ores, guys. They're cheap, reliable, and you get your coins within 60 seconds. What's up guys, it's G20 here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got a new episode of Potential January Upgrades and I haven't actually done one of these in a few, uh, about a week now, uh, since the fact that Team of the Year was around last week guys. But basically, we are back now and I have got a few more episodes of this lined up. So if you can have 1,000 final likes again, that would be absolutely awesome. In the comments below, the number of players you think deserve an upgrade uh, this month or whenever they actually release them. And finally, if you're new to my channel, click the subscribe button for daily FIFA content. I did also forget to mention, if you have any ideas of me incorporating real life football into FIFA Ultimate Team, like I do these upgrades and uh, potential transfers let me know in the comments below and uh, i can definitely try and do some guys basically the first player today is going to be a bundesliga player and in fact we've got four bundesliga players and one liga un player so the first one is going to be alexander meyer and fifa wise he's not really like a player that we're looking forward to getting as an upgrade but real life he's absolutely killing it so his club then are going to be frankfurt and uh, basically in real life i think he's like six foot five so he's a big big guy and uh, in terms of fifa his stats aren't really suited to the gameplay i mean i imagine he'd be a good player on fifa 14 but fifa 15 i don't think he's actually that good but basically He's a top goal scorer in the Bundesliga right now with 14 goals, and uh, I do believe that's all competitions. But he's played 17 games, 14 goals. That's a great, great return. And he's actually been playing like a centre forward striker role. I know his normal card is a cam, but yeah, his position has uh, moved forward ever so slightly. And he's also got a head to head upgrade. So this one's kind of expected, but again, it's not really something I'm too excited about. This one, on the other hand, though, I'm actually very much looking forward to. That's going to be Eric Chupa Moting, currently at Schalke, and is a very nice uh, non rare card. I mean, he's a striker as in Inform 1, and actually packed and used it a few weeks ago. It's a really good card, but his default to left mid. I mean, that's not a great position for him. I mean, I think he's like six for three as well. Uh, he's not the paciest, but I mean, as a striker, he's very well suited. He's, he's strong and he's got some four star skill moves. And basically, on head to head, he has uh, actually received an upgrade and also got that in form card. And also, on top of this, on who score, he's actually got the second highest average match rating in the Bundesliga this season 24 games, 10 goals, and five assists, which is a decent return for a player that actually got in a free. And his upgrade, I'll give him a plus two overall uh, with some pretty like overall like average stats. I mean, the plus to uh, shooting, passing, dribbling, and uh, three for the physical. But his inform card, though, is the th main thing I'm looking at. That could be an incredible looking card. And like I mentioned about his height, with a player at that height and 80 pace, I mean, that'd be a really nice combination with him, four star skill moves and some nice strength as well. Uh, so, yeah, Chuba Motin could be a decent card to get hold of and potentially a decent investment. I'm not sure how much he is, but I'm assuming he's not too much. Now, this one for me is probably the first January upgrade I'd actually release on the game. That is going to be Alexander Lacazette for Olympic Leon. And Leon, uh, I'm not actually sure how well they're doing in the league, but this guy is absolutely killing it in the league. On 28 games, 24 goals, and 7 assists. I think it's like 21 games in the league and 20 goals. So he's averaging a goal, I think, it's every 93 minutes in the league, which is some crazy, crazy goal to game ratio. And in terms of actually goal tally, I think it's like second or third in the in, uh, Europe's uh, top five league. So he's doing really, really well. And his price to team it's got a bit crazy. And in terms of investing, I honestly think it's too late now because his uh, second form is actually over 350,000 coins on the Xbox and over 450k on the PlayStation. So people have already bought him. And uh, one thing that I think will happen is the fact that too many people have invested in him. So when he's actually released as an upgrade, that will get undercut and his price will actually deteriorate. And of course, he's got that head-to-head -head upgrade as well, which is uh, pretty damn obvious. I mean, he's an 82, but we have a potential here of having one of the best ever 84 rated cards. As you can see, I know it's quite small, but in the bottom right, that 84 rated in form card 90 uh, 90 pace 90 dribbling 89 shooting and some nice passing and physical but remember this guy's team of the season at the end of the year i'm pretty sure he's going to get one now uh, that is going to be one of the best cards we've ever seen and now that we've got the bundesliga's equivalent of Cesc fabregas in the premier league that's going to do kevin de bruyne of course used to play for chelsea but he's actually the current top assister and he's actually got 13 assists this season and six goals in 25 games so he's doing very well in that um i think he's, he's playing like a camp center mid role um and wolfsburg are doing very well on top of that so kevin de bruyne and uh, i mean he, he has such great potential. Obviously, Chelsea did sell him, but he, he seems to be living up to that right now. Um, and also, his head-to-head -head rating uh, is also su uh, suggesting that it will go up to an 83. So, it's quite a big upgrade. And he's also got the fourth highest average match rating, but plus two overall. And so, again, some nice stats. I mean, that 83 shooting and 82 passing. I've actually done a low in the Inform card um, because, I don't know, I feel they'll actually do that. And again, in terms of investing, I think his Inform's over 100,000 coins. So, people cost on to the fact that he probably will receive an upgrade and that one is already being looked at. But the final player is going to be a Bayern Munich player and that is Mario Goetze. 
I'm simply basing this one on the fact that he has received an upgrade on head to head. So he's gone from an 85 to an 86. It's not a massive upgrade at all. Uh, but he has actually got seven goals this season in the uh, league, if I do believe. In all competitions, he has got himself 11. Four assists on top of that in 23 games. He's averaging a 7.38. And the upgrade I've given him is not too fantastic. I mean, I st it'll still be an incredible uh, card overall. But he's had zero pace, plus three shooting, plus two passing, plus one dribbling, plus two defending, and plus one physical. An 86 rated Goethe would be nice. Um, but I'm not sure if they'll do an ultimate team. Either has had it on head to head. But anyway, guys, that's a good round of today's video. If you enjoyed it, smash that like button. Like I said, our target today is 1,500 likes. I'm pretty sure you can kill that, guys. If you're new to my channel, click that subscribe button for daily FIFA content and let me know in the comments below what players I should do in the next episode, guys. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time.